what's up, new Pilcher Chemistry students? Welcome to class. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a brief video that sort of walked you through the basics of my Schoology page. Uh, tomorrow during live class, so tomorrow is Tuesday, uh, January 5th, um, I'll give more details on what you can expect this week. But I just want to give you guys a brief idea of what class will be like, okay? So my class centers around Schoology. Now, if you go to your home page on Schoology for this class in chemistry, you'll see a big folder that says quarter one. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Okay, that's what we did quarter one. Quarter two stuff is the same. I don't think you'll ever really need to go into these first two folders, okay? But uh, here are the first things you want to notice. So we are starting unit five, okay, this week in class. And for my students that had me last semester, I handed them a physical copy of the unit five packet. That's this guy right here. Now, you don't have this yet, obviously. Uh, so you can do a few things. You can print this off at home if you have a good printer or you have access to a good printer somewhere. Um, or you can um, email me and you can schedule time to come pick up a packet. I actually have print off the packets uh, for everybody um, here in school. So if you want to email me, let me know. Hey, Mr. Pilcher, I don't have access to a great printer, but I can come pick it up. Uh, let me know. I will totally hook you up with a nice printed off copy for you. Um, and you'll also want to get a printed version of this periodic table right here. Uh, this one's a little bit less urgent because you can always Google periodic tables since we'll be remote for the first two weeks. But you'll want your own periodic table here pretty soon, especially tomorrow we're going to try and color part of it. Uh, so it's going to be the best if you have your own, but it's not going to be the worst thing in the world. But you really want to get this unified pack as soon as you can, okay? Okay, so let's take a look at what a typical week will look like. So um, tomorrow we're going to be starting week 18, okay? It's going to cover the periodic table, which is unit 5, and here are the dates. And so as we go through the quarter, you'll see more and more weeks show up. So if you click in this week, there will be a folder for every day this week, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, this Tuesday folder will become published for you, so you'll actually be able to see this starting tomorrow morning. You won't see the Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday folders yet but they will appear as uh, we get to each day. So you go into the Tuesday folder here. Tomorrow we're gonna have live lecture, okay? We're gonna have live lecture. So this will take place during your class period. So if you have me um, fourth, fifth period, that would be starting at 9.55. If you have me sixth, seventh period, that would start at 10.40. And if you have me 10th period, we're looking at a 12.44 start time, okay? So how do I get to class? Well, that information will always be right here in this folder. You go to meet.google.com, and the code is going to be PilcherChem right here. I'll blow this up a little bit more just to make sure you can see that just fine. Um, you will always follow the exact same steps to get to any live class the entire semester. It will always be a Google Meet. It will always be the exact same code, PilcherChem. That's just my last name with chem at the end. Um, it doesn't matter if it's capital letters or not. And so you'll come to live class. Now what will happen is after um, tomorrow's class, um, I will post a recording of the class in this same space. So this area right here will turn into a YouTube uh, video of recorded class. Now you're required to come to live class, but I understand that every now and then there'll be some reason like, oh, Mr. P, I had a doctor's appointment um, and I couldn't come to the live class during my class period. So you need to let me know ahead of time. So you gotta email me, the night before or whatever, like, hey, Mr. Pilcher, I won't be in live class tomorrow. What do I need to do to make sure um, I keep up with class? Um, I'll give you instructions. And I always post recordings here for those of you guys who miss class uh, and also for people who just want to go back and take more thorough notes or they want to pause here and there um, or replay something, whatever you want. I record every class so that you always have that option and you can kind of learn at your own pace there. Now, after every um, lecture, we'll always have some sort of mini quiz. Uh, tomorrow, we're just going to have a quiz that um, is really just a couple of surveys. So I'm just asking you to fill out a couple of surveys um, about the first semester and how things went for you during um, this crazy year with all this virtual and remote learning. Um, but uh, after tomorrow, the lecture question mini quizzes will be about like actual chemistry content. So on Wednesday, we're going to learn some chemistry stuff, and then you're going to take a mini quiz on that. Now, um, in a typical week, Monday through Wednesday will be uh, lectures, okay? 
Thursday will be a lab day of some sort. So if you're in person, that will be um, a live actual lab. If you're remote, there'll be like a lab video, something like that. Um, and Fridays are always going to be either a weekly quiz or if we're at the end of the unit, the unit test. Okay, so Fridays are always some sort of assessment. And I'll talk more about this uh, during live class tomorrow, but I just want to give you guys an idea of the general structure. So those first three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday will be lectures. Thursday is for lab and Friday is for some sort of assessment, okay? Uh, and maybe the last thing I want to mention is that January is actually a kind of bizarre month. So we don't have class this Monday, and then we have a couple other days coming up um, in the next few weeks where we have a Friday off, we have another Monday off. And so we won't have um, the exact same schedule for the first like three weeks just because we don't have any Monday through Friday weeks uh, right away. Um, but then once we get past that little um, strangeness in the schedule, you'll have the exact same thing every um, week in chemistry. So Mondays will always be the same. Tuesdays will always be the same. We have that structure there for you. So that way um, you have to memorize as little as possible about like some weekly schedule and when things are due. Um, you know, cause you guys got a lot of virtual classes and it's hard to keep track of things. So I want to make it as easy as possible for you. So that's that for chemistry. I'll explain a lot more to you guys um, tomorrow during live class. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me um, with any questions, any concerns, or just sort of touch base like, hey, Mr. P, my name's Billy. Nice to meet you. Looking forward to class tomorrow. Uh, that kind of thing. Okay. So I am looking forward to meeting you new folks tomorrow in class and eventually in person. It's going to be a good time. We're going to light stuff on fire. I'm going to have cool demos. You're going to listen to my sweet dad jokes and you're going to laugh and you're going to think they're awesome. All right. Yeah. <laughs>